So, good morning, folks. I just finished my uh, two-mile walk around town. Um, it's a beautiful day. It is now 8.13 a.m. I started my walk uh, about 7 o'clock, a little bit before then, maybe like 6.50 or so. Um, but anyway, it's uh, this is just an update for my VSG journey. Um, the last video I made a couple days ago, I kind of went over some of the struggles and challenges and, and, you know, that was that. I want to talk a little bit about today, the things that are great after having surgery. Um, my energy level is greatly improved. I am more physically active. It's not such a chore to get up out of a chair um, to walk anywhere. I've always enjoyed walking and I could walk, but my feet would hurt, you know, like incredibly bad. I had uh, fasciitis, uh, whatever it's called, you know, like it was just, it was a mess and, and my feet would hurt all day long the next day or my ankles, whatever. Um, but after losing some weight and I still have about 30 pounds to go, uh, give or take, uh, before I reach my goal weight, but I honestly cannot believe how much better I feel, how much more energized I am. And the notion of doing a two mile walk in the morning um, is not nearly as scary and stressful as it would have been if somebody had said that to me, you know, prior to surgery. Um, so surgery has really helped with that. Obviously, we know how weight how it works with weight loss, and that's that's great, and how it's also helping with the health benefits of blood pressure and blood glucose levels and all of that. Wonderful things, but it's that energy level that will it, that new sense of self and accepting who you are and thinking to yourself, you know, I was beautiful before I lost the weight, but on the inside. Um, it really didn't reflect as much in my own head, you know, when people would say, oh, you're a handsome guy. But now when people say I'm a handsome guy and I look in the mirror, I can actually see, you know, what I believe they see. And it's not just the outward appearance. It's the inside meeting the outside more um, completely. And for me, that that helps me to feel good about uh, my physical appearance. Because I, whether I would admit it to anyone else or not, I always, always, always would try to hide parts of myself because I was afraid I didn't look well enough or I was so heavy that, you know, people would always stare at me. And one of the things that used to really bug, bug me a lot is when I would go into a store and people would just assume, you know, I was shopping for myself. So they would say, um, we don't really carry your size. I don't think people who don't have um, weight issues understand how hurtful such a statement is. And today I can walk into a store and know confidently that if I wanted to purchase something, I could purchase it and I don't have a salesperson, you know, coming up and asking me, hey, what size are you? Not because they want to help me find it, but because they're trying to determine whether or not, um, you know, it's worth my time being in the store because they don't have anything that would fit me. So those are all really good things, knowing that I can get clothes and, you know, those are more the outward kind of things, but it's that inward part where it's like, I'm really starting to feel better about how I perceive my physical self. It has nothing to do with my emotional self. Don't get that confused. I am pretty, I won't say I'm a self-actualized person, but I'm pretty dang close to it. But, um, you know, it's just trusting that the work I am doing, I'm doing it not because I want other people to perceive me as a certain way, but because I want to please myself and be healthy and look good as well. It's, it's, it, it's mostly health, but that, that vanity part is a part of it. You know, I want to be able to wear clothes that 
you know, make me look good. I don't want to have to always buy these clothes that are just really bulky and you could tell they just stitch material together. You know, I want something that's stylish, something that I can wear and feel good about. It's all a part of the total picture for me. Um, and that energy, that energy level, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So that's where I am. And I know it's sort of rambling today, but literally I just finished my walk and these are just thoughts that I had in my head that um, I wanted to share with all of you that are you know, either going through your own journey um, or you're going through this journey with me. Uh, and I wanna thank you. So thank you for your support. You have a great day, have a blessed day, and I hope all is well, and stay focused. Remember, you owe it to yourself to be consistent. You owe it to yourself to be focused. And more than anything, you owe it to yourself to do those things that inspire and encourage you. So encourage yourself even if no one else does. You got this. Peace out. Take care.